In the previous travels, uh, I took a scooter with me in the garage of the motorhome. I have changed that now uh, only because I think it's easier to have a rack on the back. So Three parcels have come today, so I'm going to open them up and uh, have a look what's in there. Right, these are the contents what was in the box. So you've got your light board on the right hand side there. Uh, which is simple enough then you've got some instructions you've got a couple of connecting bars uh, etc in one box and then in the other box the final box you've got your actual carrier plus a ramp so what i've got to do now read the instructions and then start to connect them to the motor home right okay uh, the first part's on which is the main bar um, I had to go and buy two new bolts, longer ones. Uh, they're actually 90 mil. Could have got away with probably 80. Uh, the original ones were 60. The electric uh, point I've had to stick up in the air a bit because I need to get to that. And uh, having this bar on, there's no way of fixing it with, with you know, with having that uh, working. Uh, it seems to be in the way because of the there's a, a bulky piece at the back where the wires come out, so that sticks out. So the next step of the game now is to connect this ramp and then tighten all the uh, bolts up. So let's see how we go. So I've just finished attaching it all. Uh, quite easy really. Um, the two bars get located and they're just fixed with these bolts. Um, now the wire I've had to put up round the back, a um, bit of a mess really, but I can have a look at that at another time, uh, but it does the job. Uh, the excess wire I've just put between the uh, the bars, so this whole lot comes off from here, from here and here, undo them too, and the whole lot slides off if you don't want it on, and you've still got your toolbar on, so, you know, this, this first one here, is the ramp that just unscrews and fits in there which I'll show you later and you wheel your bike up you've got a uh, fixing point here fixing point there uh, also there and there at the front and you've got two smaller fixing points which is there and there so it's quite lightweight <laughs> uh, I've got the number plate to fit so uh, it seems to be okay. Uh, I reckon it sticks out about uh, maybe 800, 800 mil from the from the tow bar. Um, so we'll see what it's like with the with the bike on.
So that's the, uh, the the installation. Now the way I worked it out was uh, the garage uh, has a sticker that stipulates only to carry 150 kilograms. Now the Honda Vision or the Suzuki Address both weigh around 100 kilograms, and you then have the rack to contend with, which is about another 25 kilograms. So you're looking at about 125, 130 kilograms. So the way I worked it is, well, we're well within the 150. Now, the Honda uh, scooter is a Honda Vision. The last one I had was a 50cc, and this one is a 110cc. And this is a lot better because when the two of us is on it, it pulls a, a lot better. Yeah, it's the same weight, it's the same size, it's even the same engine. Uh, so this is my uh, preference uh, to, to, to carry uh, the scooter, really, because it's just probably about the right Don't forget way. to use i tensile bolts uh, otherwise you'll have problems um, I use the M16 which fit perfect uh, so that's something to remember um, we've just come back from a, a journey with the bike on and it traveled really well it a uh, little bit of spring in it but it actually traveled really well I'm very surprised so I'm really happy with it so I hope this helps you uh, with your setup if you're going to do something like this but if you want to leave any comments please send me a comment I'll answer them as, as best I can like I always do thank you for now